Parliament has passed the Basic Education Law Amendment Bill through a unanimous vote. Now the bill will go to the National Council of Provinces for consideration. Opposition parties who held protests outside the parliamentary precinct rejecting the amendments are planning to launch a court bid. ENCA's Nobi Sutu Hejana reports. The Basic Education Department says political parties who held protests outside Parliament against the adoption of the Basic Education Law Amendment Bill are disingenuous. The department spokesperson Elijah Mshanga says the Bella Bill only seeks to strengthen governance in the schooling system and close gaps created by people who exploited loopholes in the previous legislation. Has denied that school governing bodies will be powerless decision making processes. There's actually 56 clauses that the Bella Bill seeks to amend. It's not about SGBs, it's not about home education, it's not about ECD only. It's about a whole range of things that are meant to strengthen the system and we've done this with the consultation of all our stakeholders and indeed all members of the public. But the DAACDP, Freedom Front Plus and some civil society groups are accusing the government of using the bill as a scapegoat instead of dealing with more pressing issues to fix education. Centralization is a very dangerous tool to use, knowing the current government, especially the ANC, every single thing they've touched, they've destroyed. Part of the elements of the bill that we don't agree to is the fact that they are trying to take away school governing body powers to determine admission and language policies. Bella Bill does not reform or transform um, the education sector. It is not going to ensure that we have better outcomes in education. What it does do is that it perpetuates the inequalities. We focus mainly on the issue regarding decisions about the admission policies, which closely links obviously to the language policy of the school. Meanwhile, Equal Education says they are not entirely opposed to the bill, but have concerns on one policy that seeks to prosecute parents who fail to ensure their children attend school. Schools being overcrowded and we can't often get learners into the schools that are closest to them. We also know that Parents often stop their children from going to school when, the, for example, the school infrastructure is so uh, inadequate that it poses a physical threat to the safety of learners. Opposition parties are now planning a strategy to take the matter to the courts soon. Nobesutu Ejana, Cape Town.